Hi everyone and welcome back to the Frugal Radio Channel. Today I wanted to show you just a quick video on how to calibrate your SDR dongle. If you've bought a generic SDR, you can't just use it straight out of the box without setting a PPM value because the generic ones don't have a TXCO. So what we need to do is, uh, is grab our dongle. I'm using a Noelec branded one, but uh, this one doesn't have a TXCO. It's from about 2013, this unit. And uh, I'm going to hook it up to my antenna using the MCX adapter. Um, I have the pigtail here with an F connector attached to it which I'm just going to plug into the dongle. We'll head over to SDR Sharp and show you exactly what we need to do in order to calibrate this SDR so it's ready for use. Mayday American 953, Okay, so here we are in SDR Sharp. We're on quite an old version here actually, but I just wanted to show you how to get this done real quick. So to calibrate the SDR and figure out the PPM value, you need a transmission that's on a known frequency. In my case, I'm going to use one of the weather broadcast stations, which is on the frequency 162.4. So I click on 162.4. You can see it on the VFO screen here. And if we zoom in a little bit, you'll actually notice that the red line is not in the center of the signal. So the red line is representing where the VFO is at present. And if we have a listen, things aren't going to sound as good as they need to. So we can hear that it's slightly off frequency. In order to work that out, we're going to hit the settings button. And down here, you'll see a frequency correction value. And this is where we're going to enter in a value. So I'm going to guess that that's about 30 ppm out. So if I type in 30 and press enter, you'll notice that the VFO line is now almost in the center of the signal. It's not quite there, so I'm just going to do an adjustment. We'll set it to 32 or 33. And you'll see that actually that's going the other way. So we need to bring it back to 30 and then go back one or two ppm the other direction. So 29 puts us pretty close. Uh, how about 28? Yeah, that's pretty close too. But 27 looks to be right in the center of that signal. So that should give us a good audio when we have a lesson. Let's check it out. Dégagé. Minimum 8 pour vendredi ensoleillé. Maximum 19 pour vendredi soir passage nuageux. So you can hear the audio is perfectly clear now on 162.4. It doesn't have to be just a uh, weather station transmitter. It could be any kind of signal that gives you a known frequency. Uh, so for example, the other one that I could have used uh, that comes to mind is the ATIS from the local airport on 128 megahertz. So we can see it down here, 128. Now that I have the PPM value set, it should be nice and clear. Let's have a listen. Uh, here we go. That you have information, Oscar. And maybe my International maybe my unit is drifting a little bit because you can see it's slightly out there. So we'll just alter this again. So 28 gets it right in the center. Um, you don't have to worry too much. Like 1 ppm, 2 ppm, it's not going to make much difference to your audio. But you want to get it as close as possible to the center of the signals. 1.5, 2.5. Altimeter two niner niner niner. So you can hear that's a good quality reception on the signal there. Um, the other one you could use, of course, is something like a, a DMR transmitter or like a control channel for some kind of uh, digital system. So if I go up into the 400 megs band, we're going to find some uh, DMR control channels here. I'm just going to zoom out a little bit so we can spot one. And we'll go down to like 451 or so. Okay, so we're seeing a bunch of signals here, actually. Uh, let's see if this one is a control channel. Let's have a listen. Yeah, that's a control channel on 45495. So we could use that equally to tune in. So if we remember, that's quite a weak one, but if we remember whenever we first had the dongle, that was set to zero. Look how far out that is. Uh, it's actually a good way out, but I know that this DMR signal on 454.95 is uh, is needing to be tuned in. So we said it was about 28 ppm, didn't we? And that puts us there. And maybe to get in exactly the center of the signal, we would alter it a little more. Uh, each transmitter is going to have slightly different ppm in and of itself. But that is how to adjust the ppm in STR Sharp. I hope that has been helpful. 
Well, thanks for tuning into Frugal Radio today. It's been good to have you back on the channel. If you've liked the content, please make sure to hit the like button and the subscribe button, and we will see you very soon with more great content relating to SDRs and also general radio monitoring. Thanks for being here today. Catch you soon. This is Frugal Radio, over and out. <laughs>